Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to make a masculine floral cart. I'm going to let you be the judge on whether I am successful or not, but I thought that would be a fun challenge in this week of fall flowers cards. So I'm going to use this truck stamp from Art Impressions. It's one of their AI watercolors, and I'm going to combine it with a bunch of random flowers from other sets because there's no flowers in this particular set. And I'm using some distress markers. You can also use distress inks instead, but the markers give you a little more control as to exactly where you're putting the color. And these are cling stamps so you can't really see. And one of the things that happened on this card was I, on a practice one earlier, I stamped my truck crooked and I thought, wait a minute, that's a perfect idea. Let me deliberately stamp them really crooked so that it doesn't look like I did it by accident. And then make it look like the truck is actually driving. All of these art impressions end up look, looking like they are just still life pictures. And I thought, let's make them look like he's heading to market with the flowers. And maybe that'll be a cool type of diversion on this image. So I'm using some clean water to paint over the marker and that softens the marker out. Now distress markers don't tend to run like mad. And if you're somebody who always gets your markers or your, your art impressions marker stuff out of control with too much water, then try them with distress markers because they, they just don't run the way that Tombows and Zigs and other kinds of markers may, may do to you. I've got a little bit of color on a block and I'm just picking up a little bit of it to paint some rust on the bottom areas of things because that's where rust kind of settles a lot of times. And then I'm going to add some more stormy sky to add some more color onto the truck. But notice that I'm leaving some white spots. They're not spots in like, oh my goodness, my highlight has to be exactly here. I'm just leaving some random white highlights, which gives it that real watercolor feel. And I'm using a number eight silver brush which is one of my favorite brushes to use for paper crafting. It's not always for my fine art, but for paper crafting, it works fabulously because we've got tiny stamps that we need to be under control when we're painting these types of things. So now I've got some of the black marker on the block so that I can darken up my wheels nicely and those wheel wells. I will add some more color to them later, but I wanted to give one good coating of them. And they have in the stamps, they cut off the bottom so that you can put flowers down there, but I'm going to make it a dirt road. So I'm going to use a dry brush technique by not having very much water on my brush and just letting the brush skitter across the surface of the bumpy paper. I'm using arches. Uh, this I believe is the rough paper. Oh wait, no, this is not this. Is, I, I'm out of the rough. That is why this is the cold press but it has a texture so I was able to skitter my brush across it. I added a little person behind the driver's wheel there and uh, just by adding a little shape in there. And then I let it completely, completely dry because I've got some other things now that I want to do and I don't want the truck to move. So the set has a fence in it, so I'm adding just a little fence line because I want to create this big old hillside coming down the mountain in the same way, the same direction that the truck is driving. And I'm going to add some trees at the top. Now this is actually a flower stamp. They're like little tiny, um, I don't know, some kind of little triangular flowers. They've got little blooms on them, but they work great for the tops of distant trees. And look at how, what a beautiful forest that makes. I've added some colors now to a block so that I'm ready to go once I, as soon as I get this water put down. And I'm making little clouds, little just blobs of water, and then I'm going to drop a bit of color in there. If you're using other markers, you can probably do it without dropping the water in first. But with distress markers, I'm always worried they're not going to move and I'm going to get a lot of hard edges. So I try to make sure I've got good water down before I do that. Because this is a fall card, I have to have some fall trees, right? I do have to be careful around the truck and around the fences because I don't want to totally blow those after all the work that I've done so far on this one but I'm going to add a couple different colors in here. I think that's fired brick and rusty hinge. And I don't remember what the yellow one is, but I will have all that on my blog for you because I did take a picture of the pile of markers before I finished this. So now I've got some uh, sort of brown grasses and things from his flower farm that he's driving past. And I'm going to do some dry brush again on the ground right over top with just the leftover pigment and create 
this road that he's driving down and notice that I had that those, those lines underneath of the truck that's creating the wheel wells like those the divots that he's driving in and then the dirt around them. Next I can add just a few flowers along the side of the road and I did find something with the distress markers that when they're over top of something that's already been painted, the color really does not move. <laughs> so if you want those flowers to be soft, then I would recommend doing something else. Maybe paint some water down there and stamp into the paint itself because they ended up really hard edged and they decided they didn't really want to move at all, which was kind of a pain. But I kept the focus on the truck put lots of little flowers in the truck and then I drew a few containers in the truck with a couple of the different reds and browns and things that I had so that it could look like he's got a whole market full of his flowers that he's taking with him and try to add a little bit of water to the flowers to soften them and again these didn't since they were stamped over top of some previously colored stuff they didn't go so well in terms of blending out but I didn't worry about it too much because I had a secret plan up my sleeve that I'll show you at the end of this. And then I'm adding a little bit of, I think it was weathered wood that I was trying to use a little bit of brown and it looks kind of green on top of this just because of the way the color is. And adding that along the side of the road. So we have a little bit of darker color just at the bottom of the, the plants and flowers and things. And then I need to make sure I had good shadows underneath of the truck and kind of finishing up the road here. Uh, the dry brush is a really fun technique, especially on a card for guys, because it looks all rough and rugged and, and doesn't look overly fussy, that kind of thing. So now I'm doing something really daring and if you're scared, don't do this part because if you mess it up, then you could ruin the whole thing. I'll just tell you that right now. I'm going in with direct marker. And I noticed that there wasn't another wheel under there. The fourth wheel was not showing, so I had to put a little extra shadow under there. And I decided to darken up the person that's driving the car. And, and literally, it's just a lump in there, so don't worry about making it look like it's a person. People will make that assumption. I put a second person in the car just for fun, so he can have a little buddy driving down the road with him. And then just added a little bit of water so that that didn't look like it was too garish and harsh. But I wanted some really good contrast. So I again took that, that brown uh, weathered wood type of color and just started making some skittery lines along underneath of the shadow of the car or the truck. Because I wanted to really emphasize that. I don't want anybody getting lost in the background. This is a masculine car. I don't want the guys to pay attention to the truck. And I re-emphasized that wheel down underneath. And then I thought, wait a minute, he doesn't have an exhaust pipe sticking out of the back of his truck. So now he does. There you go. And then I added with the fine edge of the marker, I just added a few little stems to some of the flowers on the side of the road. So there's just a little detail. Now, the flowers are all dry, so I can do this. I can add Queen Anne's lace. And it's kind of a fun way if you have flowers that didn't blend as well as you'd like, then add some Queen Anne's lace by just doing some stippling right over top with a white pen. It's super easy to do. To finish it off, I used the Take It Easy stamp from, I believe it was a Lawn Fawn stamp with a sloth in it, because I thought Take It Easy is something my dad always said. And I used yellow and black layers, really nice, sharp, crisp yellow and black layers to create this masculine card. So you can tell me in the comments if it is masculine enough. And I will see you for one more video tomorrow. Yes, we have one more in our fall flowers week. Hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you mañana. Bye-bye.